I don't know what's happening. Future Chris, I'm scared. Hold me. I'm so alone. All right. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Games We Played Too Many Times. I'm Chris. I'm Andrew. And th I hate this. I just, I hate it. Why? I, I think it's this thing. It's like super misleading in a way that isn't the most misleading. And like... I know you didn't, but I'm like sad that it's not true. I thought you said super missile eating. That is also true. Is it because I also shot it with a missile? Kind of. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I got missiles on the brain. Hey, look, it wants. Yeah, me this to... is not the right, not the right way. Yeah, you're supposed to go back and then go down. But I mean, I want to go to get the missiles anyway. Yeah. So there's this you really gotta... complicated thing you can do that I'm not going to do because it's complicated. Okay. God damn it. Um, what? Because you can like. Oh, you can going shine to through the right the dude? through. Yeah, through that room. If you can maintain your shine spark long enough, god damn it. Uh, and you can get the. There's another. I think it's a power bomb tank on the other side of it. Boom. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. It gives you a red. That's neat. Yep. But Those it's like over do. here. Somehow. There's like more speed boosty boosts. No, oh, never mind. No, there are not. I, I don't know. Here. There is some speedrun strat involving getting Can you jump there. through that wall? How do you get in there? You come up from below. Oh. If you look, I'll, I'll go show it off. It it goes straight down. Oh, you shine spark through those things? Okay. Yeah, but there's something about the timing. Oh, oh that. You can, if you can keep your shine spark, you can roll through and then and go then up there. And then ball spark through it? Yeah, you have to like fall and then trigger your shine spark up. Huh. Yeah. Speedrun strats. T-I-L. There's a thing where like this guy you have to fire a missile up at him, mm -hmm. and because otherwise his, his shot is timed perfectly to screw you up on that. To mess you up. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, can you just fall down there and then yeah. do the shine spark the normal? Yeah, because I mean, otherwise I have to go all the way back. I have to shine spark the other way. It's, it's a hassle. Do I don't need to kill these guys. I don't need you to. You kind of do because you need to shiny. I guess still shiny you'll kill them. Yeah, that's what I meant. Boing. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, because you shine can fall. You're just cool. gotta do it all over again. Uh, I think I can shine spark up here. I think that's that's what I want to do. Yep. I mean, you don't have to, but you totally can. No, because you need the missiles, right? That's what it is. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure shine spark will kill the missile. God damn it! God, God damn it! The whole thing. Wow. I spent that whole time like being all cool and like shooting all b-ball up outside of school. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do all the words. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in the neighborhood. That's a great show. It is really good. Just it's like, overall, it's a fantastic show. Yeah, and it's one of the like more real sitcoms of yeah, that era. Yeah, that's actually specifically what I meant when I said it's good. Yeah. Interestingly enough. There's like all that stuff with Will's dad and like... like and his there's mom. A, there's an episode where... Um, like Will and Carlton get arrested and like they argue about why they got arrested or pulled over or whatever. And one of them is like because we and broke Carlton's the law. And Carlton's like it's because we were driving really slow and uh, it looked suspicious and Will's like no it's because we're black. And Carlton like doesn't want to believe it and like talks to his dad about it. It's just like a very real show. Oh yeah. It's um, the bomb. There's one where like the black fraternity doesn't want Carlton because he uh, he's like too like, whitewashed. Dirty. Yeah. And they, they like consider that to be not in keeping with their image. Why is it's like a whole thing? There we go. Through the wall. It's this is the, this is another um, thing to go. Yeah, God it's damn another it. thing to I go. I don't want place. this. This is not what I want right now. No one wants this. Can you shine through those? No. Every time. Every time. Yeah, well, all of those are screw attacked off. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering exactly not enough information to pull this off. Every single one except the one into the tropical area. Probably. Um, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Yep. Diffuse the missiles. Okay, so here's the thing, right? The charge missiles, like charging that up, 
doesn't really increase like your damage or anything. God damn it. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's neat, right? That's one of my favorite yeah. things. It's like not necessary, but it's cool. Yeah, well, I mean, for speedruns, it saves you a second or two. But. Wow, way to lose a whole energy tank by jumping into the lightning. Did I really lose an entire energy tank? Good thing I'm not concerned because there's a damage. recharge room right here! I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot. It's too much. Too much. What was much. I talking about? Oh, yeah. The snowflakes that come out of the charged missile do one damage, and charging up the missile doesn't make the actual missile do any more damage. Uh, that's, a, that's a common misconception. Yeah, I knew the missile charge didn't give you more damage, but I did not know the snowflakes did one damage. Yes, but getting the diffusion missiles at all makes them do more damage. Really? Yeah. It's not huh. as big a jump as the other ones are. Like, it's kind of logarithmic over time. But, That's yeah. That's kind of surprising. I now improve of bypassing security level 4. From now on, you will use more discretion. In any case, Samus, you remember the security robot you faced earlier? Besides, I believe the infect... What? Too many words. Not the right order. <laughs> anyway, the X it, it destroyed the robot. Now they are the robot. You have to go kill the robot. But it's an X now. It wasn't before, though, which is weird because, I mean, it tried to kill you. Yeah. Um, also, it's in knock. Yes, it's in knock. That's the entire um, thing. The entire conversation. <laughs> they made it very... Like, they went out of their way to say that the X ate the organic components of the robot. Oh, okay. But we've already established that they could just as easily eat data. Data so and also to do that. Uh, inorganic material. Like yeah, clothes. like they do that all the time. So, and I don't the, the glasses on the scientist. Yep. God damn oh, it. Wells. I don't need to talk to you. You're just going to tell me the same thing again. I know, it's so irritating. Security robots much stronger. It's worried me. Be careful. We have another problem. There's tw there's a sax. It's trying to kill you. It's tracking you. Yeah, it's <gasps> tracking you. Don't, don't stay longer, than, longer you than you must. We're like almost done with this game. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to like end game stuff. Yeah. It's not a long game. I mean, the, the 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 good, the best ending, right, is getting 100% in under two hours. Huh. So a lot of the runtime of this game comes from um, not knowing what the fuck to do. Well, that and also the dialogue, because the game yeah. is taking significantly longer than the in-game timer. Hmm. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I was gonna say like two hours seems pretty aggressive. I already got this. Never mind. Yeah, you already got this. Did I get the one on the right? Yes, I did. Yep. Been there. Did that. Been there. Done that. That's it's not ancient this history. Song. Been there. Done that. Who you think you're kidding? He's the up from heaven to you. That's also but a fantastic song. It's my favorite song from that movie, yeah. bar none. Oh yes, uh, it's one of my favorite Disney songs, actually. Yeah, I I do like uh, I can go the distance. Yeah. I mean, it's not particularly like fantastic, but it's just I I like it. I know that about you. Why do I know that about you? Uh, because I I've liked it since high school. Yeah, I like. I know it wasn't you, but I know someone in our high school sang that at like the senior chorus recital. They sang I Can Go The Distance. Dang. Go them. I have no idea yeah. who it was. Yeah, me either. But Am I going the right way? It's a thing that happened. Um, I have no idea. You're going a way that will work. I wouldn't call it the right way. This is not a thing, right? This is just the conspicuous room. I didn't have power bombs last time I was here. That's true. It's just conspicuous. I like that there are destructible blocks and then the falling blocks. Yeah, like they're trying to protect like, you. To fool like you falling down more. only, except if you go one square to the left. Yeah, this is where the sacks tried to kill you last time. Yeah, um, this is where I fought the various suit thing. I just remember the, the exit I'm looking for being off to the left of the map. I could yeah. be wrong. Yeah, it's on the left side-ish, just go down. And uh, then it'll say no entry without authorization a lot, and then you'll fight the robot. Yes. But I mean, oh, it's destroyed. Uh, although yep. we watched this one be destroyed, so it's not it's not a big deal. Yep. Anything up here? Uh, probably. Seems like a place where there'd be stuff. There was not stuff. How could you do this to me? Did you go under here? 
one of these. Go down, maybe. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm lost. Oh no. You're not lost. You know where you are. You just don't know where you're going. I I have no direction in my life. Uh, I'm not the one who's lost. No direction, no. Was that actually? You'll really never thing? see. Oh god. Yep. You're so busy making maps with my name on them in all caps. So I went all the way around. Yeah, you did. Do you think it's in the middle of that big room? No, you know I, mean? I think it's down. You gotta get you gotta get down through the floor somewhere. Huh. I could be wrong about that, but that's like what I have in my brain. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'll probably pick up a secret or two on the way, right? <laughs> sure. Why not? Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh, it's the it's the room where you have to to speed boost to the right. That's a knock, right? Mm, sure. Why not? I think that's um. Yes, it is. It is. I know where I'm going now. Okay. Okay. All right. Problem solved. I gave you all the wrong advice, I guess. I really hope that's actually where I'm going and not like just a, a secret. Probably just a secret, but we'll see. Oh no, you're right. Maybe not. It's the oh yeah, I remember this. Because those are screw attack blocks. But then this is power bomb. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're back on track. There we it go. Is to the yep. left. And now it's going to be down. Like a long way. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because I knew it was in the bottom left. I just didn't. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. You did no, the wrong. Secrets, wasn't it? Uh, I'm certain that was secrets. That looked extremely secrets. Damn it. I wonder if I'm going to do as well on the the thing this time. What thing? The robot. Oh. Because last time I did really well on the robot. That's true. You pretty much wrecked it. You've been doing very well at mechanical enemies in general. Like the nightmare also just wrecked it. Uh, excuse me. That one was biomechanical? Yeah, they're all biomechanical. You're, you're the biomechanical. The X8 the robot parts. Yeah, here you go. Evacuate immediately. Warning. No entry without authorization. What am I thinking of that's like evacuate immediately? Oh, that's the uh, Metroid Prime. Um, is it also what's it called? Uh, like the the final fleeing from here? After Maybe. Because all games have explosions. Oh, is it power yep, bombs? You should power bombs. Huh. Power bombs for days. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's also regular bombs, but beam. Just shoot the beam down when it shoots missiles, and I think you can just destroy them before they hit you. Nope. Maybe not. That seemed like it should work. Yeah, but they shoot up real quick, and you they can only do. shoot your beam so quickly. There we go. Shocky water. Shocking. This is another thing where like angled missiles don't seem like they should hurt it. But it's a good thing that they do, but they just don't seem like they should. Yeah. <coughs> oh god. God damn it. I'm not doing You're nearly not, as well as that. Not doing it's nearly as well. He he jumps more, I think. Yeah, he jumps higher. This. And actually can hit you. Can, do his jumps not hit you in the first one? I don't think so. Maybe they Damn. The first one you didn't even get hurt on. Now that I think about it. Yeah, no, I didn't. And I was so proud. And this one you've lost five energy tanks and counting. Thank you for thank you for keeping track. Minus ten and counting, bro. There we go. Brain. Yay, brains. And it does it does play into what you said before, like the it said specifically that um it er, it absorbed the organic components. And the rest of the robot blew up and its brain was left over, and that's what's transformed into the the X. The X, right, which seems like they're going, like someone realized most of the way through the game that their villain made no sense, and then they like tried to make it make sense at the end, but it already didn't. Warning. Yeah, they had already like countermanded themselves multiple times. Yep. Like, so you got the wave beam, now you can go through that door that's like, hey, you probably shouldn't go in here. The one that I can't go in without authorization? Yep. Oh, why do I want to do that? Is there like something else to do? Like, you must not be able to get back, right? Because that's a one-way fall? Yeah, it's a one-way fall, so you have to go that way. Okay. Because I was like, there must be some reason for you to go through there other than just being a rebel. It Even though that's a completely not to, so acceptable reason to go in there, it's like, it, not... 
good enough, I guess. I feel like that's usually what game design is. They tell you not to go into a place, so that they're like, go go into the place. Well, yeah, of course, but they usually like make sure that you have to go in there at some point, so that you can be like, it's not my fault when you like end up on trial in front of the king of somewhere. That was only in Chrono Trigger. Uh, I was picturing Final Fantasy characters, but Chrono Trigger also works. Yes. Does that actually happen in Final Fantasy, where like you get put on trial, basically? Probably. For things that they didn't tell you you were doing wrong. Um, you get attacked in um, Final Fantasy X when you go to the place that you get Bahamut from. Huh. That. I don't really remember why. I remember fighting a dragon and killing the dragon. And maybe people are mad about killing the dragon. And then you fight it again and you can kill it with a phoenix down. Right, because it's like a zombie or something, right? Yep. Uh, so these things are weird, right? Yeah, they're uh, Metroids. Yeah, but Metroids from... have always looked like this one. And then now well, they're yeah, like, so that's... look at all these other Metroids that can happen. No, it's it's from Metroid 2. Oh. That's a regular Metroid, and then that's an Alpha, Beta, and Gamma Metroid. And those are and all the last in... thing you fight is an Omega Metroid. And then they're all in Met Super Metroid? I mean, Metroid 2? Return of Samus? Yeah. Yep. I have no idea. Oh, uh, no! You know, Go TYL. away! I don't like you! <laughs> I like how your missiles are just bouncing off the Metroids. Yeah, but not the sax. Who are we supposed to root for? Uh... In this confrontation? <laughs> I assume it's just... We like neither Metroids nor X. Yeah. Everything is bad. Jump, jump, jump. No. Wah, wah, wah. There we go. Dead there it. you go. Only 42 seconds remaining. Only <laughs> 42 seconds. Watch me fall. So I can't help but notice the similarities between this space station and the space colony arc. Kind of, yeah. I mean... Samus, you shouldn't have done that. You ignored your orders. You may have to pay a price for that quite soon. Oh my god, Oh no, Samus, Samus has dialogue. This isn't allowed. As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program. For peaceful applications only, of course. Please understand. But perhaps you already knew of this program's existence. Certainly, you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1. SRX, a faithful replica of the SR388 ecosystem. The ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. Alright, I made up Beta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this research sense. even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Imagine creating an Omega from a larval Metroid in days. But that research is finished. The X has smelled out its natural enemy, and one of the sacks is on its way here. One? Damn. Are you saying there's more than one sax? Don't be so surprised, Samus. You know that the X reproduce by asexual division. How would I? Who who told me that? I don't because know. of this mechanism, there are now no fewer than ten sacks aboard the station. What? Samus, you must go. Get out. If you stay too long, the sacks will destroy you. Stop only at a navigation room to uplink to me. I don't know how HQ is going to take this, but you need to report to them immediately. Is your objective clear? Yep, get going. Now get the fuck out. Yes, of course. Uh, so... If the X reproduced by asexual division, there should be a lot more than 10 sacks, probably. Probably. Um, there's a there's a power up there that I didn't get earlier, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can still get it. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I might have to wrap all the way around, is what I'm saying. Probably. Um... Yeah, so, uh, the sacks, there should be probably more than ten of them, unless it's, like, needing... Ooh, speed boost. Unless it's, like, needing, um, energy. Like, it doesn't have enough energy to... reproduce. I, I guess. Uh, How much energy would it require specifically for sacks? The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he, could always, he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. Foreshadowing. Sort I. Of. How are you gonna get those speed boosty things? You're supposed to, cause I was speed boosting when I went under that area, but I, like, you have to boost up, and then I didn't want to do that and skip that section before, so now I have to go back. There's a way to do it without having to go back around, but uh, I don't know. What. Okay. Take your word for it. 
So is this when I... Oh, damn it. Damn it. I just didn't even see it on the map. Like, I, and then I got on this and I'm like, oh, there's a thing. You are a fool. Shoot him in the face. Or just or shoot that him tangentially. Sigh. Radio. Those things only do one damage. They definitely shouldn't be able to destroy those. But... Yeah, they don't. They only do one damage, but they only do one missile damage. That's also something yeah. that I just don't like. Is that specific thing? Because there's nowhere What's like you need that. And how would you? Why would you even think that? I guess. What? What? What are you talking about? Using the the, the like spread to destroy missile blocks just oh. doesn't seem like something that should happen. It doesn't. It's true. What's in this door? What's in the door? What's in the door? I should do this. So I don't have to Shave room. Things. Shave room? Yep. <laughs> Sam is definitely needs that. She's been on the station for weeks. Or, I mean, probably more accurately, hours. Yeah, probably. Any of these missiles on there? Is there anything up here? I wonder if Samus needs to eat. I think her suit keeps her well fed. Yeah, I was sort of wondering. Is this correct direction? I don't know. I'm going. It is a direction. I'm going up to confirm. Go. All right. Fine. Be that way. Oh, I will. Don't you? Don't you worry. I am being that way as hard as possible. It's true. Ow! What a butt! Yep. Yeah, you climbed right into his butt. Oh, is this the thing? This is the thing. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? -na -na -na. So you know the thing yes. was here, right? Uh, not really, but maybe. God damn it. Uh, is the door locked? Yeah. So you yep. have to kill these guys. Oh, so you gotta do the glowy thing again. But they make a dude, right? Yeah. Yep. But, okay, so the thing is, I think, does it make another one over here? Yes. Yep. So I'll just kill this one normally. If I can, okay. if he comes out of the goddamn, god damn it! What an asshole! He's just in Did the you door. you actually only hurt them from the back? I always thought that was, like, not true. <laughs> Wait, what? Can you actually only hurt them from the back? Yeah, like... Huh, weird. Yeah. But you the way it checks up. if you're behind them... Is what direction you're facing? Yeah. Ha, ha, so ha, if, you, if you face the same way, you just hit it anyway. That's hysterical. All of the damage I took during that was so worth it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it a, felt worth it to you. It's a little thing that happens. Yeah. Like, that is amusing. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing that you told me that you were going to tell me about that you were worried you were going to forget, but you wouldn't because it was funny. Yes, because it, it's ha. necessary to find those guys before you continue on in the game. Yep. Calling back to, like, the first... Like, second episode, I think. Well, the first episode yeah. with the pirates, which is probably around the same time as... Okay, this room. What is same thing. this room for? Same thing. You have to kill the dude? Yep. Okay. Oh god, what have I done? Whoops. I forgot I could wave through that. Yeah, dude. Totally can. There you go. Kill the dude. Why did that one hit for more? Okay, but I, I killed know. the dude. Then, then what? I don't know. I thought there was a thing. Apparently I'm wrong. Um, Try to jump through the wall. No, you that's can't. a good call. There's, there's oh, that's rooms. another room, though, isn't it? Yeah, there's rooms there. Um, yeah, I don't know. This room is baffling. There's no point. Oh no. I thought you had to kill the dude in that room. I guess not. Oh, oh. Oh. Is. Oh? Is this where I fight Ridley? Yes. Huh. Very soon now you fight Ridley. Like, I think at the end of this room I fight Ridley. Yeah. Like, that's very soon. I don't yeah. think I'm going to win this one. Yeah, it's fine. You'll get all your health back from the door. Not all of it. Hi, door. Bop. A substantial well, amount. Well, but... a bunch. Yeah. It's okay, just be good. Right, on it, doing it. Good. Just don't, uh, tank super hardcore, and you should be fine. It should probably be missiles. Uh, it varies, I think, because this does damage for every frame. And if you can do it diagonally, then mm. you can kill him real quick. Okay. Ah! God damn it! His tail blocks attacks. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna. Oh, you did. There you go. 
I'm astonished he hasn't picked you up yet. There have been like four times I was sure he was going to. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I'm okay with it though. Bop. Bop. There you go. Why why didn't Bop. that work? Get him, get him. That was get him, weird. Get him. Yeah. Woo boy. That Winter was fun. boys. Oh, that doesn't work. Nope. Not how that works. Woo. Bop. Just gotta just gotta keep jumping over. Bop. Shooting. That was a mistake. Yep. God damn it. Bop. It threw off all my timing. Bop. Everything's ruined forever. Ugh. Boom. It's all about portion One control. I mean, it's basic more. control. One more. There you go. I did it. Even though I said I you wasn't going to do it. You did it. And now the entire game is trivial. Yep. Is there anything that's, like, dangerous at this point? Is there anything you can't kill by just jumping at it? The sax? Well, yeah, but that's, like, a boss. Uh, there are also times you don't want to kill things, which makes this a little bit difficult. That's true. Just like how the wave beam goes through walls, and now you can't find invisible walls. Yes. As easily. It's the best worst. Should I save here? Or should I just go to the other save room? Because <laughs> these are really uh, close together. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can kill the gold things with screw attack, maybe. That seems very unlikely, but it, you can show me. It's interesting that those guys. Uh, oh no. I should have just screwed attacked him. What am I doing? Yeah, you really should have just screwed attacked him. Go on, go on. Just, just fall through the hole. <laughs> just gotta get that frame perfect progression. I mean, pixel perfect? Pixel perfect. I was. Pixel. I use those interchangeably, even though I know that they're different things. Yeah, they're very different. Yes. That uh, programming Flappy Bird in Super Mario World thing requires frame perfect. Er, pixel perfect, but not frame perfect. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense, because you're going to a certain position. Yeah. I really hope we actually put that link in the description for whatever video I talked about that, because that was awesome. Yes, it is really cool. It's so cool, like I'll how he just, like, he, like, writes one. a bootloader thing. There's so many links. There really, are. I'm just putting, I'm floating the, the description with links so that my part of the description doesn't have to be as long. My favorite part is how he, like, bootstraps the thing. So he, like, first overwrites the score counter so that the last two digits show him his X position so that he can get the other X positions right without having to be, like, all twitchy about it and not sure if he's in the right spot or not. What you're saying doesn't sound like actual words to me. Okay. But they what? are, though. The thing is, I don't know if you're referring to the actual Flappy Bird part or if he's doing something to make the programming later easier. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you the first yes thing he does is writes a little question. program that overwrites the score counter with the X position of Mario's sprite. And then that means that when he writes the little thing that, um... And, like, originally, every time he writes a memory value, it's through, like, crazy item manipulation, and it's really complicated. And so he writes a little thing that's, like, every time Mario spin jumps, just write his X coordinate. Oh, and, okay. uh... And then he, like, uses that to write the thing that's like, hey, display Mario's X coordinate in the last two digits of the score. And then it's, like, easy at that point. He can just move around and jump. Yeah, and, and like, read. reference his little table. It's it's fun killing things with the... the, the and then, like, they make the platforms destructible, too. Yes, that is the most satisfying thing oh, yes. to me. This is weird to me. What is... that? You can just jump in lava now? Yeah, the, the gravity suit increased my imperviousness to acid lava but not acid just lava because does the acid hurt you yeah so? oh, oh yeah it's really. true you were just jumping into it apparently the acid or lava question is like a serious debate in the metroid community this game decided that both exist but like yeah. metroid 2 People are like, that's totally acid, and, and then Super like, Metroid Super Metroid, well. it's lava, and they're like, ah. And then uh, Metroid Prime was like, fuck it, phase on. Yeah, fuck it, just this poisonous material that will destroy everything. Yeah, phase on's cool, though. I do like it. I like, I kind of like another secret 3 here? and the phase on this stuff they did in 3, but a lot of it was weird. Yeah, I couldn't get into 3. Well, you also despise motion controls, so that probably ruined uh, it for you. I don't despise motion controls. I just didn't like those motion controls. Because, like, I really liked the whole lock-on thing in Metroid Prime. Like, I know it's kind of easy mode, but it felt really good. It was, like, well-designed. Because it locks you in place and you can't move while you're doing it? Oh, you, well, when it you lock, lock on, you, in you don't place. get locked in place. Yeah, no.
Um, I just liked the way that the controls were done in one and two. And then I thought they were going to evacuate. Oh, shit. Are, you Are we joking? just going to beat the game this turn? <laughs> this uh, episode? Uh, after the dialogue, because dialogue takes forever. Uh, it's taken on uh, SAX. They believe life form has endless potential applications. It's ridiculous. The extra heartless abominations. What are potential that they have? Is not necessarily they potentially going to kill matters. everyone. Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness. This is madness. Do you do you want to keep reading the robot now? Nah, it's okay. Or should I just continue reading everything? You can keep reading everything if you want. The station will devour them. What's, what could be worth the risk? Capturing the sacks, of course. All the potential Are of Samus with none serious? of the questioning orders. Yeah, exactly. Do they really think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the sacks. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the sacks. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it, and you tracked it down. That makes it sound Bravo, like I did it Samus. on purpose. But I definitely I know, just he happened like, upon it. He makes you sound super nefarious, like, this whole time. And he's like, perhaps you already knew of this program's existence. And you're just like, like dude, well, what? No. I, I'm just not. killing things. They must cancel this mission. Open a channel to HQ. I won't let this happen. They are already on their way. Fools. This baffled me a little bit as a kid. Oh, as soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. Okay, so you also, your memories are absorbed by the X, which was yep. the reason they absorbed the scientists before. Anyway, uh, the X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. <gasps> They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase their number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. The station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Them, the station, and myself, if I have to. Just casual genocide, boys. Yeah. This weirded me out when I was a kid, because you finish the dialogue, and then the room's just like, Nope, you're stuck here. You I thought the game leave. was actually keeping me here. Like, it was like, nope, you're done. Well, I mean, it is, but... Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I thought I was just done. Oh, no. Like, I had done something Open wrong. Open the earlier. hatches. The hatches are closed. I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Who is Adam? Uh, he's the villain of season four of Buffy. Yes, he is. A friend of and mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how important it is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a safe command room and order you to die? He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it went. He made that sacrifice once in a future game that nobody talks about. <laughs> so he chose life for you, our fair warrior, Samus Aran. <laughs> Does he Adam mean, like, gave fair, his life like, just, so or is he calling yours. me pretty? I'm pretty sure he's calling you pretty, oh. which is creepy from a robot. Yeah. I can't let you do that. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you? How could you hope to understand, you machine? You know that detonating this station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the X-Parasites, even though the station would be utterly destroyed. You would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin, yourself. Ego, everyone, ego, ego. everyone says that I just can, <laughs> I hold the fate of the universe in the palm of my, um, gun arm, Gauntlet. I guess. You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. Wow. What a dick. That's harsh. If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field of... The self-destruct detonation. God, that's just so perfect. <laughs> eh? Eh? <laughs> I want it to be like the exclamation point sound from Metal Gear. Future Chris, make it happen. You would have to start the propulsion sequence now. Before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR388. <gasps> that's what made me think of the exclamation point sound. Oh, I'll do that there too. Future Chris, Then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. 
That's an order. Any objections, lady? Um, I yes, ate Adam's you're brains. connected to the whole system here. Why don't you just do it? I ate Adam's brains. That's why I just said that. A creepy robot who eats brains. Yeah, I'm sure. Brain-eating robots. All right, now it's time to save. Is the next one gonna be the finale, or should should we go, like, do things? I am a fan of beating the game and then having a wrap-up, but, okay. uh, that sounds good. whatever. I am I'm okay with that. I don't have any strong preference either way. Okay. So, I think, and does it lock you in here? Uh, yeah, it does. Yep. You have to go do something else before you can go back, but then there's, like, secret ways around and stuff. You know, you know yep. how it is. How Metroid do. I know how it is. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. Next week, we confront, uh, I don't know, like a panel of buttons that says self-destruct on one of them. Yeah, that's it. Bye. Do you, do you want to say anything? No, not really. Okay.